Hey, good afternoon. We're back for some more blower talk here. 671 blower talk, 671 engines. We're looking at a 671 uh, now in one of our cranes. And I had a member ask me about uh, uh, something to affect uh, how you identify some of these otter blowers, the General Motors. Uh, and I, this is the this is the reduction style blower. There's actually, there's four gears in there. You'll, you'll have your timing gears closer to the blower, and then you'll have your drive reduction gears on the outside. And you'll notice it's, uh, I got one of them, I got an old case off here. You know, that, that distance between here and your bolts is about I don't know two and a half inches. That's your own. That's how an easy way to identify a reduction blower. And then here is a direct driven blower. See, it's only about a maybe an inch, inch and an eighth from the outer case down to your where your bolts go in. So that's a really easy way if you're just kind of looking around on eBay or whatever for a blower to identify that double reduction. Uh, we put the last one, we, well the one on our Ranchero, it's double reduction. Uh, I had never, I had never seen anybody do it. before but if you notice there's two you got your two that is the bearing plate there's where your bearings are at and all this is is a spacer plate uh, we had to have that because once again there's uh, timing gears are here your reduction gears are here and on that spacer plate, the way we made that, we just cut an old, uh, we cut the bearing bearing plate out of it. So it's just the outer part. That's how we done that. I don't know what the reduction is. It's, it's not significant. And on a street driven car like this, I, we were shooting for like seven pounds or eight pounds and I ended up on like five and a half PSI on this one. But all you gotta do, you just gotta drive that a little bit faster. I'm at 10% over now. I probably need to call blower drive and, and we'll get a pulley configuration for maybe 20% or 15, probably 20. Shove me up to eight, eight and a half. But it, it worked, but the, the the ones with the single, uh, just the single standard blower are a lot easier to, to deal with. A lot easier to deal with. Like on the Galaxy. With the 302, it's got what they call the standard blower. So you have just your bearing plate. Once again, there's, you know, you got a thinner housing there. Well, we're out here in the sun. There's the old Detroit manual. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but they're showing, the, that's the reduction style. There's that thicker case. There's your four gears. There's your timing gears. There's your reduction gear. That gear is a little bit smaller than that. I think it's like 30, 32 teeth and 39, whatever that ratio comes out. I believe that memory serves me right. Yeah, boy. yeah these books are priceless. Uh, there's a standard blower, you know, it's just showing your two timing gears. That's what this one is, that's a standard blower. And the only reason, of course, Detroit had so many different combinations. Uh, on those two cycle diesels over the years. 
I don't know if they had an issue with the some of the timing gears in the case in the rear rear case of the motor something was spinning a little faster and they had to reduce the blower because one the one crane i showed you has the reduction of course we've got another crane identical to the 671 it's just got the same blower as this one so something something changed i haven't researched that in depth but yeah that's a easy way to if the guy's looking at one looking at a gm blower to convert over to gas you know when you see it thicker that thicker cover you know like i said two and a half inch thick towards the back of that motor it's got the four gears in there so well we're having a heat wave it's like 28 degrees 28 degrees man and that's supposed to warm up tomorrow and it's going to melt most of this off Spring ain't that far off. Folks, we'll catch you later.